run a few steps, you throw the board ahead of you, and you take one more, two more steps and jump on it. And now you're sliding down this steep slope of sand, and the wave is coming at you really quickly and starting to hit the shore and, and lift up. And all you're thinking about is, am I in time to make that turn and get around before that wave throws out and breaks? You're not just riding, you're not just standing up, you're running, you're dropping, you're timing, you're balancing, and then you're trying to look good while you're doing it. That's a lot more elements than in the sports sports. Like a moving skateboard ramp that's completely changeable. This is the hardest sport of all the board sports. I think it goes back to the first guy who skipped stones, first guy who threw a plank of wood down on some little sandbar somewhere and went, hey, you know, that thing went away, so let's do that again. You have an opportunity as a skimboarder to go to a beach and elbow up with world champions. Skimming is addictive and uh, you'll start feeding off of it, you know, like you're not going to operate correctly if you haven't skimmed for a week, you know. Skimming is a tight-knit group of people. There's a reason people skim. That it brought so many different people together to meet up for one thing that they all shared in common. It's a very social sport and it's very competitive. And look at where it is. Somebody that's willing to sacrifice their well-being for the greater good of whatever it is that they're doing. Sliding across the thin film of water it was fun. People are just glad to be a tribe and be together. Bye.